Alright, this is Geordie Prepper and welcome to the continuation of the Digital Prepping series. We're looking at cybersecurity, protecting our personal data and just taking sensible precautionary steps so that our private information is secure in transmission and we're going to look into later on in the series some secure ways to send emails etc. But one particular area that we're just going to cover today in this video is the encryption of DNS traffic. So all traffic that's going across the internet, it can only reach its destination if it knows how to get there, which is where the domain name servers come in, or DNS for short. So encrypting our traffic as it goes to a DNS server can ensure that private data and other things like middleman attacks don't happen basically. So what we're going to look into is ways to encrypt the DNS traffic on Windows and Mac. You will need administrator passwords and access to the computer. So obviously if you don't own the computer, you know, don't make these changes. If you want to make the changes, just make sure that you're comfortable working in the administrator account. So as I said in a previous video, just because you signed up and used in a VPN service, it doesn't mean that it's secure there can be DNS leaks and this can mean that the traffic can be intercepted both sending and receiving. So one way to get around that and you can actually use this in conjunction with a VPN is to encrypt the DNS queries from your computer to a secure DNS server and then the query comes back encrypted to your computer. This also reduces exposure to man in the middle attacks on your DNS which can send you to dodgy websites, phony websites, phishing websites, etc. So for Windows, and I've linked it below, is a website for Simple DNS Crypt, which is just a simple tool for managing your DNS proxies. You can see here the standard settings, it's just via a graphical user interface. Unfortunately, I don't have Windows on my Mac at the minute, so, but it seems to be pretty standard. You have, you know, the interface that you're connecting with the internet. Um, do you have different areas that you should, and different servers that you should be able to select here? And obviously the server address and its name. And it looks like a public key here for encrypting the traffic. You can block and blacklist domains. So, you know, if you do come across a website that you don't want to have access to, and you want to make sure that you can't again then you can add it to here. If you're very comfortable with some advanced settings then it has some advanced settings here. It seems to have plugins so you can alter some options in case your network doesn't support things like IPv6. You can choose whether to have the DNS queries logged or not and you can put a DNS response cache and you can have a live log so overall, I mean, it looks decent. It's obviously a graphical interface, so you know you can see what's happening to the and what you're changing. So go check it out. If you do decide to test it, let me know how you get on. You may need to fiddle around with the different servers that are available, but just browse on the internet as you usually do, and you know see what the speeds are. Like. Do some downloads, and also do the DNS leak tests, and you know ensure that if you're using the service that. You know, it's not actually leaking anything, so the server that is in the list below, you know, should be the only one that comes up on the dnsleaktest.com. And for encrypting your DNS traffic on the Mac, there's the DNS crypt for the Mac OS, which I use, and that's linked down below. And obviously, because I'm on the Mac, I'm going to actually show you the the options in the in the actual extension itself. So, DNS crypt, it's just Authenticating communications between a DNS client and a DNS resolver. It prevents DNS spoofing, uses cryptographic signatures to verify that responses originate from the chosen DNS resolver and haven't been tampered with. That's the aforementioned man in the middle attack. It's an open specification with free and open source reference implementations. So, you know, you're free to check the code yourself. You can actually download it and, you know, you can inspect it for yourself. So I'll show you DNS script in use now on macOS. We'll be going through adjusting settings, system settings, and some browser settings in a future video. But for now, we're just looking at DNS traffic. So 
ignore all of the things here like flash we'll be looking at flash later so DNS script once you install it on the Mac OS it puts a preference pane into your system preferences so you just click on DNS script obviously I've already got it enabled because I have it enabled all the time now I did actually have it installed for many years and I never used it but now I actually find that it's very good it's very very fast and the server list is very comprehensive so basically you have the option to enable and disable it here if you do not have IPv6 compatibility on your line as I don't then you can disable the IPv6 and this can help re reduce latency on you know the IPv4 connection that you've got it's using DNS script over UDP here we've got the server location that we're using which is in rugby in England there's just a huge list of servers that you can use so obviously what you want to do is you want to select the one that's geographically closest to you there are some advanced settings here and you can choose to log the DNS queries if you want the about obviously just gives you some basic things about the version that you're using and in here you know you can see the changes per version it does have continued support alright guys so that's what we're looking at today that's what we've looked at DNS encryption just one specific area which even if you don't use a VPN service or anything like that even if you don't do anything else to protect your data and your privacy just encrypting your DNS traffic is a really big step to help and protect yourself online so in the next video we're going to look at some DNS servers and services which uh, various websites run such as Norton Safe and you can input a specific DNS server which helps protect you from viewing adult material, gambling material you can input it into your router and then it protects all the devices that are actually connected to the router so that's what we'll be looking at in the next video be safe, be prepared Thanks for watching, thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next video.